Okay, this is a quick video just to demonstrate um, in terms of what's possible with a touch screen and Logic Pro and more specifically the environment within Logic Pro. So first off, I should say um, thanks to all of the guys at Sonic Matter for helping me um, with my environment questions etc and making this possible for me to create the sort of things that I want. Great resource. Thank you. Um, yeah, so what do we got here? Right, this this screen here is um, a 15 inch capacitive touch screen. Bought second hand, cost just over 100 notes. Uh, plugged into a laptop uh, with the displays set to mirror displays at the moment. Uh, it doesn't have to be mirrored, but um, for this example, it is mirrored. And what I've got here is this is a mixing environment that I've actually created inside Logic. And it displays multiple different channels. We've got solo and mute um, here. And on the bottom line, pan here, further below that. And then above that, high pass filter here, high pass filter on off above that, gain offsets and phase invert and zero dB buttons at the top. The reason uh, why I'm so interested in pairing a touchscreen with Logic Pro specifically is the environment in Logic Pro allows or allows me or allows you to create any sort of of the mixing objects or recreate any of the mixing objects um, you would normally have in the track mixer or the environment using this, the using objects that you design both the, the shape, the size, the color, etc. of yourself. So in other words, I can very easily design my own touchscreen mixer with the fader set to the size I want, the solo mute button set to the size I want, control plugins for example, I've got game plugins on every channel so I can have phase invert buttons at the top here. Uh, specifically to um, allow me to do things which I struggle to do easily on something like my Mackie control which is over to the left. So for example things that I, I really struggle to do are basic stuff like if I've got a 36 track mix something like this soloing individual channels across those 36 tracks on something like my Mackie control is a real pain in the ass and this is one of the reasons I created this so that I've got 36 tracks across here but solo and mute to any channel easily accessible and I've also got phase invert on the top here also easily accessible so for example if I'm building a mix from my drum overheads so, otherwise this is my uh, overhead drum overhead behind the drummer's head on the left hand side I can start here solo that channel so just use that button solo that channel, call up my kick drum channel, check the phase of that kick mic against that overhead, then move on to say my snare, do the same sort of thing, check phase, and then say add the under snare if I want to, maybe just isolate just the snare itself. Again, check phase, pop it back with my overheads, maybe add my trigger kick in there as well, etc. Maybe add my room mics, etc. And all of those sorts of um, multitasking things are very quick and easy to do on this environment. As are things like um, turning on high pass filters. So for example, high pass filter on the overheads at the moment, I can turn it on and off. And I can also set the frequency of that, that high pass filter sort of within a workable range. So I can get, the idea is for me, is I can get a reasonable sort of quick rough mix together in terms of levels, phase, uh, pan and high pass filtering sort of very quickly across lots of different channels and that's something that I would struggle to do easily 
on something like my Mackie Control. So this makes a nice addition to that. The other advantage of having a touchscreen is obviously any command within Logic works perfectly. So if I want to uh, play on the transport, all the transport functions work well. Can, and because Logic, you know, you have so many different screen sets, it's easy to have different sort of touchscreen mix environments. So this is a very simple one with just levels. Um, again, solo. The other advantage of having a touchscreen is obviously any command within Logic works perfectly. So if I want to uh, play on the transport, all the transport functions work well. Can, and because Logic, you know, you have so many different screen sets, it's easy to have different sort of touchscreen mix environments. So this is a very simple one with just levels, um, again, solo mutes, but just a basic level mixer. If I just want to focus on levels and get some basic levels up really quickly, this is a nice screen for that. <clears throat> okay, it's also worth talking about a few other things to do with the touchscreen and logic. Um, obviously, the touchscreen itself can control everything you would normally see in front of you. So all of the channel fader stuff, for example, uh, maybe even sort of channel EQ, channel EQ stuff. So all of the EQ things that um, are kind of possible within that view, you can use the touchscreen to to work with. Um, Likewise, the synth editing stuff is quite easy to come to your synthesize itself, change any of those parameters, you know, you reach out, touch them, very straightforward, very simple. So that side of it's good too. But then things like um, working within the hyperdraw, let's say on a drum beat, here's a drum beat. It's incredibly easy to edit that drum beat using the touchscreen um, with something like you know the pencil tool selected or the eraser tool selected etc so let me show you that how that how that sort of works in practice So the hyper editor, for example, is particularly uh, responsive to the touch interface. So to cap it off, um, for just over 100 quid, you can get a second-hand shop touchscreen like this, and I think it's fair to say that, as far as I'm concerned, that 100 quid, you know, if you look at what you could buy for that in terms of uh, basic controller with knobs, sliders, etc. I think a second-hand touchscreen represents excellent value for money and I'd recommend to most people that, you know, get one. Especially with Logic Pro, works fantastically for filling in those gaps between your computer, something like a Mackie Control and Logic. Yeah.